Welcome to my channel, Defend Craft. This channel is dedicated to showing you designs as well as tips, tricks, and how to make various crafts ranging from hearts, fascinators, hand fan, bouquet, and much more. Today, I'll be showing you how to mold this fascinator with pad. The first thing we do is to cover our mold with nylon. This is to prevent water from spoiling our mold. Measure your mold. Here we have 11 inches and add 3 inches to it which making 14 and cut out the material you'll be using to mold both your pad and the material you put underneath the pad and on top. Test you cream your nylon covered mold with your oil base. I'm using hair cream. Do it to fasting container. You do the front. I use top bond when I'm molding with pad. So we put some top bond and add little water and mix. That's the consistency you need. Put in your material that you'll be putting underneath the pad. Then you put the pad and make sure that it covers every part of the pad. Turn the front side to face the mold because that's the part that would show when you remove the mold then you put the pad on top of the material then you turn the mold and then show that each part would cover the mold properly so that's what I'm checking right now to see that it covers well okay so you get your thumbtack out Okay, I just noticed one side is bigger than the other, so I would have to redo that. So I place my mold properly again. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be holding down left, right, top or front, and bottom. Just the four corners first, not south, east, and west. When you're molding with pad, you must eat very well. I think I eat rice, not apple. So it's the thumbnail is dealing with me small because the wood pad is quite strong. <laughs> so eat very well when you want to mold with pad. So you do north, south, east, and west first of all. This ensures that when you finally have your mold out, the shape. Is a perfect circle no crease at any corner after you've done the four corners you gather each corner and squeeze it hold it then start using the tom tack and pressing down can you see what I'm doing you do it for each corner and as you're doing it you're dragging watch carefully again how it's done Once done, you would place this under the sun to dry. After two days, our mold is set and dry. So we cut out the excess. Then you remove the tom tack with a cutter. I use my broken cutter to do this. Then you cut out more excess. You see where those um, rusted parts is? We're going to cut them out. This is the process of removing the pad from the mold. You keep doing that till you're able to bring it out. So it popped out when my phone cried no space. But that's it. Then you make a mark and measure the circumference of your molded cap. So I measured 31 and then I cut my wire into 31 plus 2 inches that's 33 so I cut it 33 and by the time I put it together and I checked it it was 31. Place your hot wire into the molded fascinator like you see me doing it. 
and we'll cover the folds with our hot glue. We've glued all. The next we do is to check the placement of our fascinator on the alloy. To raise it up a bit, we're going to be using pad. So we we'll cut out pad. We use our glue on it and glue it on the heart like so. Then we we'll sew our Alice band on top of that pad that we put on top of the fascinator. That's to raise it so it will be fair. Once done, you take your material that you're going to use to cover the pad and ensure it covers the four side. Then we'll use a B6000 or Uhu gum and put around. After you've put your glue around, the next thing you do is to put your material north, south, east and west again and do like you did when you were doing the tom tag. This time around you're just pressing it down to ensure that it sticks properly. Cut off the excess material from where you glued. That's it. So you take your bias and you cover all the trimmings all the way around with your hot glue. If you're gaining from this video, please click the like button. Also ensure you subscribe. That's a beautiful molded fascinator with pad. Would advise if you're not yet subscribed to this channel that you do so, so you don't miss when I design this fascinator. I should put up the video as soon as possible.